next topic, uh, brand intelligence driving consumer engagement. And our speaker is John Harari, co-founder and CEO of Windowsware. Welcome, John. Hey, thanks so much for having me. So let me just jump right into it. Alrighty, so uh, as mentioned, I'm CEO co-founder of a company called Windowsware. Uh, Windowsware is a resource for brands to do competitive research on other brands. Uh, essentially, what every brand wants to know is what every other brand is doing. Uh, and as you can imagine, brands create so many things, whether it's the actual uh, merchandise that we uh, consume or the way that they market, advertise, uh, and engage the customer with, with their merchandise and or their brand whether that's uh, you know, within the physical world, like uh, retail stores, window displays, pop-ups, events, uh, exhibitions, or it's the digital world. Uh, it's their website, their emails, all of their social media, uh, the influencers that they work with. So for us, this is all data and content and we capture it. So it's, it's no different than let's say IMDB being a database of movies uh, or Zillow being a database of uh, real estate and homes and prices and even visually what, uh, you know, what all those homes and neighborhoods look like. Uh, we're, we're a database of brands. So we actually just capture, catalog, archive uh, every piece of merchandise as well as every piece of marketing collateral, advertising collateral, whether it's in the uh, brick and mortar world or the digital online social media world. We've got about 45,000 members I encourage if any of you guys on this call, uh, you know, have any interest in any of our information or services, uh, this is our website. You could actually uh, sign up for free. So it's just like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, everyone can create an account. Everyone can have access. Obviously, for paid members, they have more access. But we obviously encourage everyone to, at, at the very least, become a free member. Uh, and some of our clients include Coach, Ralph Lauren, Tori Birch, Michael Kors, Fendi, Ferragamo, uh, as well as a lot of schools, because uh, there's a lot of design, retail, merchandising schools um, all around the world. Uh, let me just jump into the, uh, the presentation and go from there. So uh, this is actually great timing for this presentation because we had just finished uh, this trend report that I'll walk you guys through. Usually, uh, at least once a month, we we like to compile uh, different trends that we're seeing from different brands uh, globally and then compile that into uh, a trend report. And this is actually coming from our latest report. So we, we actually haven't even formally uh, you know, announced this even to our membership, but you know, given uh, this is the exact perfect timing uh, for this exact perfect trend report, I'm gonna share it with you guys uh, right now. Cool. So. Uh, uh, you know, we're talking about brand engagement and obviously, you know, who, who doesn't want to be more engaged, right? Like every company, every brand wants to engage uh, even further with their customers. Uh, that's just a universal constant. And, uh, and obviously digital engagement is something that's, you know, everyone has digital, everyone has a phone. Uh, so obviously it's something that uh, everyone is connected with. So, you know, engaging through digital is, makes a lot of sense. Just how do you do that? Right. So, uh, that's that's a challenge because obviously we we're all digitally connected, but you know what what content, what experiences, uh, what do we actually show to the customer uh, to engage further with them? So uh, what we did here was we compiled very unique uh, examples from pretty big brands, and and they're all doing this stuff right now. So this is obviously very current, it's it's timely, uh, and and there's many different types of examples. There's no textbook for this, right? Like there's no. No one went to school, you know, 30 years ago saying, how do we, you know, how, how does our company digitally market and engage with their consumer? Uh, you know, obviously this is all new, technology is new, social media is new, um, and, and these are all tools uh, at our disposal. Uh, so as technology has been a saving grace for socializing in these times, digital experience emerges as a surprising source of inspiration for brands and consumers. As it is often the trend with fashion, uh, the major luxury brands lead the way. Whether it's a video game or interactive content, the next logical step is for brands. Uh, today's consumer wants to be able to flow effortlessly between digital and physical channels. As consumers spend more and more of their time alone, uh, 
you know, between 70 and 80% of millennials and Gen Zers are active gamers, the vir virtual world will become just as important as the physical world. And migration of habits and needs from the physical uh, into the virtual is already underway. And consumers are increasingly, speak, increasingly seeking to experience uh, these values and aspirations in new modes of, of virtual worlds. Uh, and it's a space where consumers seek to be immersed, uh, whether they're watching shows or participate and create content uh, it, within their community or, or by themselves. And uh, you know, every brand needs to produce a, uh, uh, an opportunity for how people uh, can adapt and respond within the cultural context of their movement and to let consumers be a part of this journey. So uh, we've seen some great examples of how companies have mobilized their communities with education, entertainment, and other forms of support. For instance, uh, Alexander McQueen started asking their uh, fans to work with, to work on a weekly series of creative projects online. And the first challenge was to sketch a dress for, for next winner's collection. With results of the collaborative creativity featuring on the label's own Instagram channel with the hashtag uh, McQueen Creators, right? So from powerful and uniting messages to sourcing user generated content to collaborating with talent remotely, a number of brands have shown up where people are watching. As the world finds itself longing for connectivity and entertainment during the lockdown, brands are recognizing that there are much, there are as much as content creators are as they are the ones producing the product. Uh, the latest to join that movement is the House of Balmain with the program entitled Hashtag Balmain Ensemble, which aims to publish stories, inspirations, and creation from members of the Balmain family as well as from a host of close friends and respected artists. Uh, so P Bottega Veneta uh, recently launched uh, the residency as a virtual community for creatives during quarantine times. So the brand that's been on the tip of everyone's tongue as of late has created a new multi-platform concept community to inspire and comfort viewers. To promote creativity and collaboration, Bottega Veneta launched Bottega Residency, a digital space that allow you to learn about and watch creative talents from around the world, right from your home. Bottega Residency will be featuring the works of creative minds from all different industries, with guests that range from musicians and film directors to writers and chefs each day of the week. The brand's virtual theater will showcase its collaborators muses and talents to everyone who wants to tune in. So if whether or not you're a fashion lover or not, there's something surely to pique your interest. Uh, the brand Jacquemus uploaded onto the brand's account featuring a main unique image of a child imitating the act of wearing the designer's iconic mismatched heels. But instead of shoes, he simply, he's simply standing on the tip on his tippy toes over an orange and a lemon. Following the post, which garnered over 120,000 likes and comments, many of the page followers became, be, began imitating the image, posting their own makeshift versions of Jacquemus's Bahia and Portofino heels using whatever was around them during their homes during self-isolation. Soon after, he began reposting them, creating the hashtag Jacquemus at home to coincide with the collection. Toilet paper, animal figurines, artichokes, European adapters, you name it. Uh, someone took a photo uh, and a picture with it. The French fashion, fashion designers asked nearly 2 million Instagram uh, followers to harness their creative potential in an at-home art challenge. Uh, calling it the Jacquemus at-home challenge, Jacquemus fashion pieces from his spring-summer 2020 collection 
Le Coup de Soleil with other bits and babs from his home into works of contemporary uh, portraiture. His La Chemise pinature shirt and Le Picho in neon green, for example, was paired with a peg and matchstick to make a rag dud, rag dude. And his company, another cool dude in the form of La Cosquette Port hat, mint, mint, mints, flowers, and a pen lid, and Madame, Madame joined them, forged from his Lossac filet in lavender and two oranges and petals. And there was also a monsieur made of uh, forged items uh, and curly beans and leaves. And you can see those uh, highlighted on the right. All right, so it's, it's very creative for a very uh, you know, high-end fashion designer to use their uh, social media uh, channel to bring a lot of uh, uh, fun and, and, and engaging with their customers through you know, whatever materials and products that consumer has at home. Uh, you know, maybe maybe switching gears to another uh, perspective, uh, Balenciaga Afterworld, the Age of Tomorrow, uh, luxury fashion brand Balenciaga have unveiled their new Autumn Winter 2020 collection, 2021 collection, through an interactive online video game, uh, which was called the Afterworld, the Age of Tomorrow, and it allows users to play for free via their web browser. Uh, with the theme of the collection being Human Destiny, Balenciaga takes the user on a gaming journey set in 2031, allowing players to navigate a virtual reality characters dressed in head to toe in their new uh, collection. And uh, experience digital and mobile in a completely new and fundamental way is reshaping how uh, you know, consumers interact as well as how the brands work and engage with their customers. Uh, we can highlight uh, Gucci Fest. So Italian fashion house Gucci uh, is showcasing its own collection and highlighting the work of emerging designers through a digital film festival as brands continue to experiment with more conceptual marketing, right? So this is a whole, uh, you know, as, as film festivals have become something that uh, a lot of millions of people uh, engage with and inspire to, because because obviously the, the film festival is something that you know takes the traditional uh, you know movie screening and, and it really makes it a unique event and experience that only happens once a year, right? So if you're not there for the film festival, uh, you're missing out. And and part of the film festival is also part of engaging with uh, you know other like-minded people that that care about films and creativity as well as a community of people that create films and are involved in the whole uh, production of them. And it only, it only lasts for a certain amount of time. So it's very much an experience. So it's taking that whole concept of a film festival and, uh, and digitizing it and making it something that is part of the, uh, the, the whole Gucci experience. So it's also taking, taking the lifestyle aspect of the brand and incorporating it into their, uh, you know, into their digital marketing and communications. I thought this is really cool and smart. Okay, so let's let's uh, change gears to Ferragamo. Uh, so Ferragamo launches Trivia, a digital project aimed at sharing the message to never give up, transcending physical barriers to tell stories through social channels, including Instagram and Facebook. And with its help, everyone has a chance to celebrate the Salvador Ferragamo community as it is invited to rediscover the brand with a message of hope experienced in a new narrative form. The trivia includes quizzes and anecdotes and allows everyone to discover the interesting past, the iconic products, and the most significant moments from the founder's life. Uh, Salvador Ferragamo's life is a result of a melting pot of different elements, characters, determination, instinct, genius, inventiveness, curiosity, and, and not least an incredible intuition. The historical documents and the original shoes created by Salvatore Ferragamo are now preserved in the archive of the company and enhanced through its annual exhibition projects by the Salvatore Ferragamo Museo in Florence. So, 
uh, just a couple of things to highlight about this, you know, so uh, a lot of these luxury fashion brands traditionally didn't necessarily embrace uh, e-commerce. Uh, you know, they went from pure physical storytelling through their uh, retail stores. Uh, and then they were thrown with, with e-commerce, you know, 20, 30 years ago, they were thrown with the internet. And, you know, many traditional luxury uh, fashion brands didn't necessarily embrace e-commerce as maybe a lot of other brands uh, have. And part of the reason for that is the lack of being able to tell the story. Just having products online through two-dimensional images, uh, you know, it didn't necessarily capture everything that the brand wanted to convey to the, their consumer. And when you think about it, when the internet was first created, uh, you know, just having images, having image files, it, those those images were just too big for any servers to uh, to host, let alone the actual bandwidth that was needed in order to uh, to actually have those images pull up on your screen. Right. So when the internet was first uh, created, it was very text heavy. And then it became more image heavy. And now obviously we've got video and, and now we've got live streaming video, which is what we're on right now. So it's, it's, it's been very much a challenge for these luxury houses to use digital, use technology, use, use these channels to really tell their story. And, and what we're seeing right now are you know, many different of these uh, traditional luxury brands, uh, not necessarily using the, these online tools as a, you know, as, as an e-commerce moment, because obviously that's pretty easy to do to just take a two-dimensional photo of your products, you know, put a price on it and then, uh, you know, put it on the internet for people to buy. But it's really about uh, telling your story, right? So if, for many people, maybe they don't necessarily know the story about Ferragamo. Maybe they're familiar with the shoes. Maybe they've been into their stores. Maybe they, uh, you know, they own the shoes, but, you know, they, they don't necessarily know the story or the, 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 the important moments of the brand. And by creating a trivia contest, uh, which, which you know, makes it a fun, interactive game, but at the same time, it, it helps to share uh, and reshare the brand's heritage in the story. This is actually of paramount importance to any, any brand because as I mentioned, being able to share the story, being able to have your customer really connect with the essence of the brand that's ultimately the most, uh, uh, it's the, one of the most powerful ways to actually connect with your customer. Uh, when your customer knows who you are, where you've come from, what you've done, how you're differentiated. And, and that's no different than, you know, human beings, uh, two friends that have known each other for, for many, many, many years, and they know lots of things about them. Uh, that helps to connect those two, two human beings together and, and the same is also true with brands. The more that brands can share their stories, not just sharing, you know, what are the latest products available for you to purchase, uh, that's what creates the brand loyalty. And that's what ultimately uh, helps to differentiate when you're choosing a pair of shoes, um, you know, what brand do you, uh, do you purchase from? Uh, another another example uh, from Gucci, Gucci archetypes. Uh, so Gucci marking its hundredth anniversary uh, with its new creative direction under Alessandro Michel. So its digital first approach evolving over the years, following the brand's quest to combine the past with the present to tell stories of the future. Concurrently with the unveiling of the House of Gucci's Garden archetypes, an immersive multimedia experience in Florence that explores and celebrates the house's imitable. Uh, creative vision, a virtual Gucci garden space uh, has opened its doors for, for a few weeks, and this is back in, uh, in May. Uh, taking the hint from the archetype as the original form from which all copies are made, never able to be recreated in itself, the ex exhibition in Florence uh, delves into different Gucci campaigns as a unique and unrepeatable move moment expressing the attitude and spirit of each collection while remaining true to the inclusive, liberated and audacious philosophy of their creative director. Similar to the physical space, the Gucci garden experience is divided into themed rooms where visitors can immerse themselves into Gucci's creative vision and inspirations and share the captivating experience 
of the exhibition with friends. Uh, so while fashion and art may feel out of reach, the metaverse is bringing them closer and making them more accessible for millions of people, building on Gucci's quest to empower individuals and expand and expanding self-expression to new virtual territories. Am I out of time? You are out of time. No problem, no problem. So I, I you know, anyone who wants, you know, further information, please sign up to Windows Wear. And uh, we're actually gonna be, you know, we're, we're gonna be going through this whole trend report with our head of trends in a couple of weeks. So you can actually uh, tap into that. But thank you so much for having me and thanks everyone for, uh, for being here. John, thank you for that thoughtful discussion. Mm -hmm.